Hey folks, this is Samson and I have some info in regards to bypassing HDCP in May of 2023. Well, I made a video not too long ago that was where I showcased a HDMI splitter. It was the REI one by two or one by, yeah, one by two or one times two, whatever. It, it's a one in two out HDMI splitter and it bypassed HDCP and it worked great. I was happy. I was like, oh, this is glorious. I'm so happy. But that's not technically true. It was doing something I didn't want it to do and I didn't realize it until it was too late. I was streaming a bunch and um, I went into the settings one day and I was like, whoa, whoa, hold on. It was downscaling. It was downscaling my video, my 4K Xbox video from 4K down to 1080. I was like, well, crud. That's kind of the whole fucking point was I really wanted a HDMI splitter that actually mimicked the video signal that was coming out of the Xbox and through my capture card and actually showcasing it in the way I wanted it to. So yes, that is now obsolete. And what I'm using instead is the AV star. This is just the box because I'm actually capturing currently using this guy, the AV star one by two HDMI splitter. It's a one in two out and it does actually do 4k video. And I'm going to showcase that to you right now. It does work in certain regards and I'll get into that and I'll tell you what I mean by that. Now, Here's my Xbox main menu. If we go into the actual settings, TV settings, boom, it is 4K. There's 4K video. When I was using this other one, this little blue one, the REI one, all I could see was 1080. It was down. It didn't even give you the option to see the 4K video. So you did not get these other two up here. You did not get the, the 1440 or the 4K Ultra HD, UHD. As far as video modes or the video settings go, I got everything turned on except this very bottom guy because it's not really that important. So I have everything else turned on, all the stuff, and it is working like a charm. But what's kind of strange is that the Xbox main menu captures in 1080 HD, 1920 by 1080 instead of actual 4K. But, 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 if I open my, my Blu-ray, the Blu-ray player, that actually has a 4K video in right now. I have a I have a copy of Godzilla vs. Kong from 2021, a 4K copy of it. But what it does, when it switches from the Xbox main menu, which is supposedly capturing in, in 1080 to this now 4K movie, you have to go into your settings. It, it disengages or deactivates the video. So you actually have to click on your video source. I'm using Streamlabs OBS. It, it'll probably work for regular OBS. It's the same thing. It's basically it's the ba same basic concept. So you go in, you double click your video source and you click on the deactivate tab to deactivate your video source. Now you just see my background. And then there's a resolution tab. When you drop the arrow down, it was stuck on 1920 by 1080, but now there is an option for 3840 by 2160. So I click on that. I click reactivate again. Boom, there's the video, but it's huge because it's 4K instead of 1920 now. So I right click it and I click fit to fill or uh, fit to screen, fill to screen, fit to fill. It's, it's two different, uh, it's all the same thing. And now the video is there and I have to go into my little sound mixer and reactivate. This engages the audio as well. See, there you go. Now you can hear the main menu. So we go into the movie, just find a scene and it's going to take a second to actually engage and get the thing rolling. But as you can see here, booyah! Now the video's playing, now the audio is working. It's the full 4K experience. And I don't actually have a full 4K capture card. Again, I'm using the, the Elgato HD60S Plus capture card, which is technically a 1080 capture card, um, but it can't allow for 4K video. It's, it's kind of weird. It's also my laptop that I'm using. It's like so all you folks out there that have fortification stuff, bravo. You can actually utilize this little HDMI splitter to the fullest potential. So, all right, so movie. It likes movie discs more than it does streaming services. So now we're going back to the main menu of the Xbox, and it's back to 1080 again. It de deactivated the video, so I have to vis physically go into the source, click deactivate, Change the resolution back to 1080 by 1920 or the other way around. 1920. Anyway, and reactivate it. Now it's small. And now it's fit to screen. And when I said it works in certain regards, so 
when you go into HBO Max, so it does work on streaming services. I said that it would. It does work on streaming services, but it's not. It doesn't work the same level as it does for actual discs. It likes movie discs a lot more than it does streaming services. Because if you go into here on HBO Max, I tested it. The Batman is a 4K movie on HBO Max. It is You're able to stream it in 4K UHD, Ultra HD. Um, so here it is. It's not capturing in 4K. I can see it on my TV in 4K. It's still 4K on my TV because the little HDR popped up on my television screen, which you didn't see. But as far as the stream, what you're seeing, what I'm capturing currently, yeah, I think it's just 1080. So like I said, it works in certain regards. Streaming services, you're not really even supposed to be doing this. With, I mean, come on, you, you, you give, me, give me a break. It actually works better than anything else out there. So you got to take what you can get. So HBO Max does work. Another big one, let's go to Disney Plus and I'll show you that it also will function the same. You can go in and it pretty much does the same thing. Um, that's right, I was testing just another movie earlier, The Avengers, everybody loves The Avengers. And uh, so here we go. On my TV, it says HDR10, I can see it. So it is 4K on the TV, but as far as the stream and the capture goes, it may not be in full 4K like that might also be because of the fact that I have the capture card that I do and the laptop that I do because who knows it might actually work with a full 4K capture card and a full 4K computer or laptop so it does indeed work for all those things uh I guess I should probably show an example of a video game so if we go into Resident Evil 3, which is a 4K video game, it's pretty much doing the same thing. So it's HDR10 on my TV. It says it's in 4K and it says it's working. So it looks great. It works on the screen. Uh, buh, 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 let's see, where's something that I did recently? So here we are. Run around and it looks good. It's clean. Functions properly. Cutscene. Looks good. It's done. It's awesome. Give me the vaccine, you looks good. Son. Sounds good. No, 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 no. All that stuff. So it works. It works great with the Xbox Series X and my Elgato capture card that I use. Yes, it indeed works just like I wanted it to. But you have to be careful. One of the options on the back, or there's three options on the back of the HDMI splitter, and they are copy one, 4K 5.1, 4K 7.1. This is very important. You must use copy one. This is what you need, that guy right there. If you don't use it, you, you have to use this in order for it to work, because if you go the other route, it ain't going to work. This guy right here, no. Just, uh, you don't want to use either one of these two. 4K 5.1 or 4K 7.1, which has something to do with the audio. It scrambles. It just, it does not work like it's supposed to. It scrambles the audio signal when you try to use certain things like HBO Max or, or other streaming services or certain movies. It just, no, don't do that. So that's why it's very, that big fat not, not. That's important. So not these two. Yes to this one. Oh, that's that's very important. The other thing that is very important is you go into your physical TV settings. So you take your remote control for whatever TV you're using or monitor. And if you're using a, a, a computer, it's probably not as big a deal. But if you're using a TV like me, I guess this is very TV specific. You go into your settings of your TV and in your picture video options, whatever you want to call it. It's very important you find if there's a gaming tab or a PC, a gaming or PC mode, that must be on. That must be on if you're doing this on your television because otherwise it will also make the video quality look crappy. It'll it'll jit and judder and it won't look good. Well, it's It just doesn't function like it's supposed to. But all in all, the AV Star HDMI splitter is the way to go. 
if you're using Elgato capture cards and either the Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5. You really need to have this new HDMI splitter if you want to do 4K quality stuff because that's the only way that you can see it in 4K. And um, yes, I'm basically rambling now because I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else that's important that I need to, to let you guys know about. But I think that is pretty much it. So again, this little guy is now obsolete, the REI HDMI splitter. Unless you are just doing 1080 video, then yes, this is your option. This works, this works. But hey, for $10 more, why not get the AV Star? The AV Star is a great alternative to the REI one, and it looks and sounds good, and it functions a little bit more smoothly than the other one did. You had to disengage, like reactivate, deactivate your, your video pretty much every single time you switch from any two scenes. Like if you went from movie to game, just you had to do it every time. But this one, as you saw, I went from HBO Max to Disney to my uh, Resident Evil 3 video game, and it pretty much worked. The disc was the only uh, reason you had to deactivate, reactivate, because the actual 4K disc behaves a little bit better than streaming services and whatnot. So yes, uh, that is pretty much all I have to offer info-wise. I hope this helped any of you guys out there that are interested in bypassing HDCP with the newer consoles and the newer capture cards and whatnot. So yeah, that is about all I can offer you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. See you guys on the next one. And as always, sayonara. Whoop. Pfft.